Nail them more. So what did you do? Uh, Teresa popped the tire. How can I pop the tire? I don't know. I told you not to do it, but you did it anyway. Didn't you? There was a problem? There's always a problem. I gotta go get, what is that, a half inch? The what? The Asians. They blame me for everything. That's not true. Your fault. You dropped an atomic bomb on us. You know how that works? Mm -mm. That was my ball. See? Oh, hello. Did you see it? Cat's ball. What'd you call it? Cat's that? eye. Cat's eyes. Not cat's, cat's balls. Ah, <laughs> oh, you want to watch me change the tire? Putting it out, taking it out is easy. Putting them in is the hard part. Nope. I think so. Actually, the hard part about this is what I'm doing right now. Taking it off this fucking rim while it's still on the truck. Excuse my language, actually. But, huh. Um, What do you tell me? I told you. I told you. You're always tolling me. I told you.
mountain. Yeah. Oops. Go get me a fire. I thought you said you can fix it on yourself. Yeah. You know what Nelson Mandela did to tire it this time? <laughs> yeah, I do. You told me the other day. <laughs> yeah, I used to put them over people, fill them with gasoline, and start light them on fire. Holy moly. While they were alive. Oh, he was a wow. great guy. He said to me, he was five foot three, and he said to me, I'm a turd, <laughs> <son."> <laughs> <laughs> I know how you find out. Good morning, guys. Yeah, right. Yeah, Joe, jumping Joe would know. What did you want? Air hoses. You know, the type to put air in tires. We're using Paul Bunyan's ball blaster, right? Come on, Tim. I'll have this on before you get here. Snippity do that. They're going awful nice, don't they? Yeah, it went in there easy. This is another hard part. I remember you. Yeah, I was gonna say you used vice grips before. Yeah. I remember. Run, 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 run. Run, run, Rudolph, run. Why? You did? I'm always doing something wrong. That's why I'm divorced. Is <laughs> that what they said? Hmm. You're going to divorce me too? I'm not married to you, so no. Are you sure about that? Yes. Oh. Yeah, I must have a dream or something. The what? That I married your ass. I don't know, I don't remember. Maybe it's a different Asian. Could have been a rounder Asian. Rounder Asian? Yeah, it could have been. What do you think? I like them big? <laughs> <laughs> Go get a real one. Oh. Oh. Where the hell did these come from? I can tell you, they came from uh, Crafter Supply. It's just like doing a dance, you know? Mm-hmm. Lots of dance. Ooh. Pretty sure you can do that. You got a starting fluid in that western star inside. Do you want me to get it? Nope. That's a clip on air, Chuck. That doesn't clip. What doesn't? This one doesn't work anyway. A regular one? Who's it? This guy doesn't work. This one works. <laughs> Sound like one of those horror movies. This one works. Well, that doesn't work. That one. Get the air down here. I sent you to do it, right? Yeah, and when I was blowing out the filter, you shut my air off. No. Yeah.
Okay, to recap on what happened uh, in yesterday's video with the 7410, um, I have repaired the 7410. It just took a new fuel tank. I did not film it. It's just kind of one of those things that my dad was there and he was obviously not feeling good about what had happened. So it's just better to be left off of the interwebs. So, anyways, the 7410 is now back up and running. We do have a little bit of a trop, a little bit of a problem with the fuel tank that I put on. Uh, there's uh, a lot of dirt in it now. I bought a used fuel tank because it was about a two thousand dollars cheaper and uh they told me that it was pressure washed and checked and you know pressure checked and everything and uh they well, i wouldn't say they lied they may have done that at some point in time but there's a bunch of dirt down in there uh, me and tim dumped out what little bit was in there uh before we put it up but there is a uh like a black soot in there kind of weird so it's plugging the strainer not the filter but the strainer there's a little inline strainer filter kind of thing in there and it plugs that up rather rapidly uh we think we've got it solved now but it is uh yeah it is uh up and running so we're loading hay again with the 7410 now this turtle that you're looking at right here uh me and Teresa went for a walk while dad was going to load the uh was going to load that trailer up and I look down the road, and I see this wonderful-looking prehistoric creature. And uh, I says, hey, that's a snapping turtle. So I ran down, and I grabbed him. Uh, every time the thing would snap, Teresa would scream a little bit. And it was kind of funny, but, you know, I don't think she wants me to post that she screamed every time the thing snapped at my foot, pant leg, or any other part of my body that it was trying to bite off. And, uh, yeah, so we threw it up on the trailer, and I put the camera in front of it as I was uh, working on getting this tractor started again. And uh, this is the view that he gave us, his ugly, spiny, weird-looking neck. But in a second, he's going to try and walk away where he falls off the trailer. And I had to grab him before he got under the tires where he would have been crushed and killed. Uh, no wildlife was harmed in the filming of this video because I took it down and put it in the creek. Uh, no worse for wares. I didn't get hurt. Teresa didn't get hurt. And neither did the turtle. And here it goes. Boom.